All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation three to the power of x minus two to the power of x is equal to 65. So to solve this, what I'm first gonna do is take the power of two over two on both sides. So I get three to the power of x to the power of two over two minus two to the power of x to the power of two over two is equal to 65. And the power of 2 over 2 is the same thing as the power of 1, which is the same thing as itself. So this isn't doing any major changes. So now from here, I'm going to switch the places of x and 2. So I get 3 to the power of x over, or sorry, 3 to the power of x to the power of 2 over 2, or sorry. I get 3 to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 65. So now from here, I'm going to let the variable a equal 3 to the power of x over 2 and let the variable b equal 2 to the power of x over 2. So now I get a squared minus b squared is equal to 65. Now from here, if I have something to form a squared minus b squared, this is the same thing as a plus b times a minus b. So I get this is equal to 65. And I can rewrite this as a plus b times a minus b is equal to 13 times 5. And now I can set a plus b equal to 13 and a minus b equal to 5, because this is in the form a number times another number is equal to a number times another number. So a plus b is equal to 13, and a minus b is equal to 5. So now I have a system of equations, and to solve this, I'm going to add this. So b and b cancel out. a plus a is 2a, and 13 plus 5 is 18, so I get 2a equals 18 meaning a is equal to 9. So I get a equals 9, and if a equals 9, remember how a plus b is equal to 13, and a is 9, so I get 9 plus b equals 13, meaning b is equal to 4. So a equals 9 and b equals 4. So now remember how a is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2, and b equals 2 to the power of x over 2. So a equals 3 to the power of x over 2. b is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2. Now a is 9, so I get 9 is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2. And remember, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So I get 3 squared is equal to 3 to the power of x over 2. And this means that these two are equal to each other. So 2 is equal to x over 2, and x is equal to 4. Now for b equals 2 to the power of x over 2, b equals 4, so I get 4 equals 2 to the power of x over 2. 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, so I have 2 squared is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2, meaning 2 is equal to x over 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, so again I get x equals 4. So this proves that x is equal to 4. And now the final thing I'm going to do is to check. So my equation is 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 65. x is 4, so I have 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 65. 3 to the power of 4 is 81 minus 16 is equal to 65, so I get 65 is equal to 65. 